Good morning. As you guys can tell, we're melting off a lot of our snow here. We got a bunch of rain coming in in the forecast. I'm getting a little concerned about everything flooding out. We have a beaver dam down this side that we've never been able to access to get it out. And this last summer, we were able to get in and mow what used to be an old hay field, but because the beavers had done some flooding, it had grown up and it had a bunch of brush in there. So we got that all mowed down. We can't get in there with a piece of equipment because it's just the way it's all flooded out. We can't get there that close, but we can get the mule in there. And then we're gonna have a game plan to get that dam out and see how that works. Cause I wanna get the water level down before we get any more rain in here and the snow melting. It's gonna be almost 50 today. So what we do have for snow is gonna stop melting good. And then the rain's supposed to come in and rain for a few days. So we need to take care of this before we flood out. You ready for this? I don't know. What are you getting me into now? You're going to find out. <laughs> so right here we have a bunch of gullies, I guess we'll call them, going in the field. One here, one running along the road this way, and then one, at least one more going that way. And those are all areas that the beavers had dug out. So they had this all flooded out, and they were digging little canals so they could stay under the water and get to different places. So believe it or not, this was all one smooth hay field back in the day, and then the beavers had just destroyed it. And same thing for the other side of the road. So over there is where we got to get to. So this over here to our right is a pond. But that's something that the beavers made. It's like an overflow. They had dammed up over in this area and they were getting it to overflow to make another pond. I don't know if that's where they were keeping their food source or what they had planned on building over there. But this is the dam in front of us. Let's get out, walk over there, see what we can come up with for ideas and see how close we can get. So it's still a little frozen down here, which is kind of nice. Makes it easier walking. So I think what they were doing is they had this dam, which it's lower than what it was originally, but it's not as low as I want it to be. It's probably still about three and a half, four feet high. They were damming that up, damming it up over here and they were digging a canal and filling up that pond. So this had to be flooded out pretty good to make that pond. I don't know if that's really, I'd love to know what that secondary pond for. So if you know why beavers make a secondary pond, if it's to keep food or what they do in that area, let me know. But I'm gonna walk over there and see if we can figure out a way to get a grapple hook in there and pull that out this way and breach the dam so it starts running that way. The good thing about doing it this time of the year is when we do get a lot of rain and all of our snow melt, we're going to have a lot more water flow going through here and that'll help blow the dam out completely once we start a hole. You can actually see over there, the hot water is high enough and they're getting it to flow over that way also. You can see a little spillway. So we could never access the water from this way. The first time I actually came in here was in a canoe down this way. This whole area was full of brush like this right here. So you couldn't even see anything when it was in the summertime, it was all greened up. We actually were walking in from the backside down and in. So it's nice that we can access it this way now. We can get close 
but not close enough to reach that with my excavator. It'd be too far of a reach to get in there, so that's why we're trying it this way. All right, so let me go walk across. I brought a four foot bar with me. I'm gonna see if I can poke a hole through it is the game plan. And then get our cable winch through it with a grapple hook and start yanking it out and seeing how much of a flow we can get going. I'm not so sure this is a good idea. I think it is. It's either that or Tannerite. Well, either way, you're gonna to have to get over there. Yep, we do. It's all solid. How do you know that's not going to break off? You should have brought your fishing pole. Then I wouldn't want to get to work. Oh. I'd be busy fishing. So my main goal is, is to get this part of the dam blown out. We're going to have to start small bites and take it out. So what I'm thinking is we'll pull out what we can pull out, get the water flowing. Best case scenario, once we get the water flowing, when, after we get these big rains, we'll get a lot of water in here and it'll blow out the rest of the dam because that happened to the other dam up above that we had worked on. That's completely gone now from all the water flowing and taking it out. That's at least three feet, if not four feet high. And it's probably five feet deep. All right, I think I'm through the dam right there. I just kind of got to... Go at the right angle now. I can see like stuff moving. If you pull out too much, you won't have anything to pull, grab onto when you to walk across when you go back. Well, I'll pull. I'll get the. Well, I'm gonna get the winch through. Then we're gonna go over there and winch it from over there. So I can see right here. Yeah, right here is my pole. So now I gotta figure out a way so I can pull the winch through with it. There it is. We're about a foot, maybe a little bit deeper in the water. So if we can pull that all out. So now, just gonna figure this out. I didn't think of how to attach that to my cable to get my cable pulled through. To get what? I gotta think of a way. Let's see if we got some hay string, tie the hay string onto that pull that through and then I can tie my hay string onto the hook, pull the hook through, wrap it around. Oh, I then, thought you were just gonna stick the hook on there. I can't stick it onto this. I gotta get my grapple hook through with a rope and then hook that on. So we might have to run back up and get some rope. Believe it or not, I had cleaned it out in here. So any of the hay bale string we had is gone, but I think I see a bungee. Maybe we can get this bungee cord to work. We do have the fishing poles, so if we need a fishing string, I have a ratchet strap. I'm thinking I'm just gonna use some of the fishing line off of one of these fishing poles. We'll tie it, and then we'll just let it spool out, and then we'll get what we need, and then we can attach our winch to it. All right, we're gonna free spool the winch. Hopefully. Just kind of bound up. There we go. All 
right, I'm hoping that we can pull my pry bar through the dam this way, and that'll keep this fishing line on. Worst case scenario, we'll have to pull it out the other way and try to get the line to stay on. And the handle's getting stuck, but I think we'll get it. Yeah, we will. It might take a minute. Careful. Oh, there we go. Good. The fishing line stayed on. Do not do what he does. We do not recommend that you do any of this stuff that you're seeing on this video. So this is not a how-to channel. Don't copy what I do. <laughs> so hopefully this line is strong enough. We have to go get a better rope to pull that through with because that's not strong enough. I already broke it once. So we'll head up to the house. We have the fishing line through now. We can just tie this onto a rope, pull the rope through, and then tie that on. I think some hay bale string should do it. One should do it, but we'll grab four just in case. So it's gonna be interesting to see how much we can get this to drop. I'm gonna gauge it off of the snowbank right here. I'm gonna say by looking at it, we're six to eight inches below that. So once we get that dam opened up, I'd be curious to see how much that drops. All right, let's try this again. I really do like having our camp so tracks on here because if we didn't have our tracks on here, I don't know if I'd want to be adventuring out here today because if we break through the snow or if we broke through the snow with tires, we'd probably get stuck. But with having our tracks on, we don't got to worry about that. It also makes the rough ride a lot less rough. All right, let's get this free spoon again. All right, we'll hook up that to the fishing line and see what we can do. Oh, that was pretty easy. You caught it? Got it already. Easier than I thought it was gonna be. Going fishing. Too. You just gotta hope that when we pull this out, we pull out a big chunk. So maybe I'll take that driftwood I took out of that corner, stick that in this area so when it's pulling, it's got like more stuff it's pulling on, not just little branches. And maybe that'll help get out a big chunk. So let me get this rope untied. I'll get that in place and then we'll start pulling. I can't get over how deep that is. All right, so in my head, the way I see this going is we'll get the cable around the dam. It's at least a foot in the ground. I'm gonna put this on the backside and I'm hoping we rip out a big chunk of this dam and then the water just starts gushing out. And then over time, it'll just blow more of the dam out. That's how I think it's gonna happen. But let's find out if that's what really happens. All right, so I'm hoping by putting this 
bigger chunk in there, it'll make it actually have to work and pull more out. And this is gonna go that way. So I'm gonna want this big chunk on the back side as like a stop. So. All right, let's see if this works the way I hope it's gonna. This whole area from that tree over to that edge, this is all the dam that they have just worked and built up. And then over there, I don't know if that was something they had dammed up or if that's just the edge of the riverbank and they had cut another canal back over that way to flood out that way. I sure hope this happens the way you want it to because I just want it to be done in this one try because I know you're not gonna stop. No. So I hope it just pulls out one try because I know it's gonna at least do some kind of damage to that spot that you're standing on. It's not gonna be as stable, so. Might just be walking in deeper water to get back over there. If deeper, it it's probably rushing more. I keep hearing ice crack and going in, so I let's feel, just hope this happens. I feel like the water has started to flow more since we've been down here. The sun's out, it's warming up, so more stuff is starting to melt and more water is coming down here. So the sooner we can get this done, the better and if it happens the first time it'll be the best case scenario what do you think is going to happen let me know all right we're first going to see if we can just pull it with the winch i'm going to engage the winch i'm going to put my jacket i don't see it breaking but if it does break having a jacket or something on the winch line if it breaks it just makes it snap and it's not going to go everywhere or i shouldn't say it make it snap but if it snaps it'll just fall down and it won't go anywhere we're not going to have that much pressure on here i don't think i'm hoping we can just use the winch pull it out Worst case scenario, we'll have to stop backing up with the mule if we need more power. Let me go up here. All right, so believe it or not, it is actually pulling the mule forward. So I'm gonna see if I can get in, give it some gas and pull on it, get the mule to stay where it is. If not, I'll have to stop backing up. Let's see how this goes. Four wheel drive, lockers. Oh yeah! Let me save my jacket. But that actually worked as good as I was hoping it would. You know what, I'm just thinking, it's probably a good idea that we came down here and everything was still frozen. That probably helped keep all that together. I uh, thought that was your plan all along. Well, it was, but you never know if it works the way you think <laughs> it's gonna work. Well, I stood way back over here because I didn't know anything was gonna go flying or anything, so. It kind of just came out nice and slow. Nothing too crazy, but it opened it up, so that's good. Yeah. So good. I want to go walk over there and see what's going on, see if we can pull out any more or what we need to do. Of course, he wants to pull out more. Well, That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, because now it's going faster. Yep. It's what we want, though. Is that from it? That's from somewhere. Don't want it to pull you in. Goes a big chunk of ice. Another chunk. Yeekers. All right, that opened that up a good amount. I don't know if you saw that, but this sunk in like really easy. So that dam is at least three feet deeper below what we can see from the water line or from down to the bottom of where my foot is. I think a lot of this is still frozen. It feels like a rock, but I think it's ice. I wish I had a way to get here down to the bottom of there and wrap a cable and get that out. but. I don't think I do. 
but that would be ideal. There you go. I think I'll get in the mule, pull this back some. We'll get this off, throw it in the corner, and then we'll rehook. All right, I will say the mule did good. I had to put it in four wheel drive and I had to have my differential locks on so I'd get good traction. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed and I'm happy that it all came out one big clump like that. Let's just all oh, watch your toes. Frozen blob. I'm hoping we can just get it right there in that little gully. All right, we move the mule forward. We'll get that in position and then I'll get the rope pulled through. Okay. If we can get another good bit like that pulled out again, we'll be in really good shape. I think again I want a big stick to wrap around. All right, I feel like this one's gonna work just as good as the last one, and if it does, I'm gonna be very happy. It'd be nice to blow this dam out too, but we'll see how this one goes first. Did anything happen? Oh uh, no. I don't think as much happened that time as last time. I think it just kind of pulled out. That stick. That stick. So I'm gonna pull it up, but I wanna go over there and evaluate and see what it looks like and what we can do now. No, no, no. You said you were done after this one. If it worked. <laughs> it ain't worked yet. <sighs> oh, I was hoping that was gonna pull out a big chunk so he wouldn't keep going in there, but he's gonna keep going back in there no matter what, so. It would have been too easy if both the poles worked as good as the first one. Imagine how much water been flowing out already. Yeah. Let's see what we got. What I'm trying to do now is undermine the dam. I'm trying to get in with my pry four foot long pry bar and make big holes, hoping that the water works its way through there. And that'll eventually blow this all out just with water pressure. I hear ice breaking off. So when we first started, the dam was here. Now it's blown out to way back there. I'd really like to get down low, get the winch cable around it, but it's flowing so good back there, it would just fill my suit up and that wouldn't be good. So the big stick come behind you or something, ice? Some ice, it's coming. It's probably dropped a good foot already. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like in a couple of hours. It's dropped quite a bit. I 
All right, so this is working. We got a pretty deep rut going. So it is washing out the back part of this dam like I was hoping it was going to. I can feel the water flowing. I can just kind of feel it tearing everything out. The further I step back, the deeper the cut gets. So that makes me happy. Good morning. It is the next morning. It is 35 degrees out this morning. We got some rain last night. Not as much as what they were calling for, but we melted a ton of snow. I don't know if you can see that. And then all behind me, we're seeing a lot more brown grass. So that is good. We'll have to get down below and go see how the little creek is doing. Hopefully it has dropped quite a bit. I'm interested to see how much it has actually has dropped. And then maybe if it's dropped a lot, maybe we can get more of the dam and pull some more of the dam out today. Not sure, but let's go check it out. You can actually see the dirt. Right. They say it's gotta be down a good foot. I dropped it quite a bit. We lost a bunch of snow. We did. So that little pond area is down quite a bit. And then let's see what the dam looks like. So it is down a ton over here. I didn't bring my wader so I can't get in, but the water is still flowing too good so I can't get over there. I, I'm gonna walk over there and check it out, but I won't be able to get over there and pull anything out just quite yet. Oh, look at how low that is right here. Right. Let's see. That's really low. Yeah, I mean, I can walk right here, no problem. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we have a really good gully going on over here. I just can't help myself. That's what I was just thinking. That's what you were thinking? Yep. We'll have to keep an eye on this and see when this blows out, because I have a feeling it's gonna go at some point. They are calling for over an inch of rain. I don't know if it's, it's starting tomorrow and into the next day. So I think once we get all that rain with all this melting, this will really pull up. We should get some pressure and that'll start going even more would be my guess. I think one of the other things that's holding this back is it's all still frozen in there. That piece that I just ripped out, it was just a big ice clump too. All right, so one of my downfalls and also my strengths, which is kind of weird, like it can be good and it can be bad is I don't like to give up. and. I remembered I had a grappling hook just for times like this. So I'm gonna see if I can put this grappling hook on the back side of that dam and see if it'll catch anything and yank it out. Cause I can't get in there and dig a hole to put a chain through it or anything. So I'm hoping this will work and we can get that dam dug out a little bit more. I think if that stays right there, we'll grab something. We 
We got a couple little sticks. Got it flowing a little bit better, but not like I was hoping. So let me get my gloves on, see if I can get it really jammed in there, and hopefully we can get it really flowing. Anytime I get it on anything good, the water pressure pushes it out just like then. If I can't keep tension on it all the time, the water pressure pushes it up. <sighs> Give it a couple more tries and if it don't work, we'll have to wait. Maybe we can get that to stay for a minute. Let's find out. Four wheel drive, let's put our lockers on and give it a go. Oh, I'm not exactly sure what we had pulled out, but whatever we did has dropped this water. I'm gonna say close to six inches since we've been here in the last 20 minutes. This whole area has dropped by the dam and then back there it's full with a lot more water and I'm just seeing everywhere on the edges has dropped. It's barely getting out there and it's dropped a ton right there and over here is almost filled up to the level of here. So it is gonna start emptying out quickly. All right, this is where we're gonna end the video. I think I've gotten to enough shenanigans for now. We are gonna keep an eye on this to see what happens, but we're doing good. Look at over here. The water is up actually in there going over to the other side yesterday and now it's below it a good six inches anyways from the edge and then a good foot from going over so it's come down a lot so we'll be checking in and letting you know how we're making out so don't forget to hit the subscribe button like the video and we'll see you right back here in the next video bye